Jacob Gedley Alekis Azuma was born on 12 April 1942 in what is now in Kandla, KwaZulu Natal is a South African politician. He was the president of South Africa from 2009 to 2018. In the 1960s, he was against the government of South Africa's policy of apartheid. He spent some time in prison on Robben Island for conspiring to overthrow the government. On 14 February 2018, South Africa President Jacob Zuma resigned for a disputed disagreement instruction with the ruling African National Congress. In 2005, he was charged with rape but he was found not guilty. One of their traditions he follows is polygamy, having more than one wife. He has had six wives, one of them killed herself in 2000, and has fathered more than 20 children. Zuma was the person to tell the public on 5 December 2013 that Nelson Mandela had died. On the eve of the African National Congress having a vote of no confidence against him, Zuma resigned. A few weeks after he resigned, it was reported that he fathered a child with a 24-year-old woman in a Durban hospital. On 29 June 2021, Zuma was sentenced to 15 months in prison for not showing up to court over his corruption trial. Zuma began engaging in politics at an early age, and joined the African National Congress, ANC, in 1959. He became an active member of Umkonto We Sizwe in 1962, following the South African government's banning of the ANC the previous year. That year, he was arrested with a group of 45 recruits near Zerust in the western Transvaal, currently part of the northwest province. Convicted of conspiring to overthrow the apartheid government, a government led by the white minority, Zuma was sentenced to 10 years imprisonment, which he served on Robben Island with Nelson Mandela and other notable ANC leaders also imprisoned during this time. Whilst imprisoned, Zuma served as a referee for Prisoners Association football games, organized by the prisoner's own governing body, Makana FA after his release from prison. Zuma was instrumental in the re-establishment of ANC underground structures in the Natal province. During this time Zuma joined the African National Congress's Department of Intelligence where he later became the department's head of intelligence. Zuma first left South Africa in 1975, and met Thabo Mbeki in Swaziland, and proceeded to Mozambique, where he dealt with the arrival of thousands of exiles in the wake of the Soweto uprising. He became a member of the ANC National Executive Committee in 1977. He also served as Deputy Chief Representative of the ANC in Mozambique, a post he occupied until the signing of the Nkomati Accord between the Mozambican and South African governments in 1984. After signing the accord, he was appointed as Chief Representative of the ANC. He served on the ANC's Political and Military Council when it was formed in the mid 1980s and was elected to the Politburo of the SACP in April 1989. In December 1986, the South African government requested Mozambican authorities expel six senior members of the ANC, including Zuma. As a result of the pressure applied by the apartheid government on Mozambique, he was forced to leave Mozambique in January 1987. He moved to the ANC head office in Lusaka, Zambia, where he was appointed head of underground structures and shortly thereafter chief of the intelligence department. Zuma was also a member of the South African Communist Party, SACP. He joined in 1963, briefly serving on the party's Politburo, and left the party in 1990. Following the end of the ban on the ANC in February 1990, Zuma was one of the first ANC leaders to return to South Africa to begin the process of negotiations. In 1990, he was elected chairperson of the ANC for the southern natal region and took a leading role in fighting political violence in the region between members of the ANC and the Inkatha Freedom Party, IFP. He was elected the deputy secretary general of the ANC the next year, and in January 1994, he was nominated as the ANC candidate for the premiership of KwaZulu-Natal. The IFP, led by Mangasuthu Buthalesi, put particular emphasis on Zulu pride and political power during this period. In this context, Zuma's Zulu heritage made his role especially important in the ANC's efforts to end the violence, to emphasize the political, rather than ethnic, roots of the violence, 
and to win the support of Zulu people in the region. In December 2005, Zuma was charged with raping a 31 year old woman at his home in Forest Town, Gauteng. The alleged victim was from a prominent ANC family, the daughter of a deceased struggle comrade of Zuma, and also an AIDS activist who was known to be HIV positive. Zuma denied the charges and claimed that the sex was consensual. Even before charges were filed, as rumors about rape accusations surfaced later in November, Zuma's political prospects began to appear to take a turn for the worse. Most of his higher level political supporters could not respond to these new charges the way they had the corruption charges. In a hearing prior to the rape trial, a group of thousands of his supporters gathered near the courthouse, as a smaller gathering of anti rape groups demonstrated on behalf of the alleged rape victim. As he did throughout the trial, Zuma sang Lithu Machini Whammy, Bring Me My Machine Gun, with the crowd, and ANC Youth League and SACP Youth League spokesmen spoke in support of Zuma. As the rape trial proceeded, reports surfaced that the SACP was severely divided over how to address the issue of Zuma and the SACP's relationship to him. Many members of the party's youth wing supported Zuma while others in the SACP were skeptical about the value of rallying behind a particular person as opposed to emphasizing principles of governance. Despite the defection of some former supporters, many Zuma supporters continued to rally outside the courthouse. Arousing criticism by anti rape groups for regular attacks on the integrity and moral standing of Zuma's accuser, insults yelled at a close friend of the accuser, and even stones thrown at a woman that members of the crowd mistook for the accuser. Zuma's defense team introduced evidence relating to the woman's sexual past, and asserted that the sex that took place was consensual. The prosecution asserted that her lack of resistance was due to a state of shock. And that the relationship between the two was like that of a father daughter pair. The trial also generated political controversy when Zuma, who at the time headed the National AIDS Council, admitted that he had not used a condom when having sex with the woman who now accuses him of rape, despite knowing that she was HIV positive. He stated in court that he took a shower afterwards to cut the risk of contracting HIV. This statement was condemned by the judge, health experts, and AIDS activists. The popular South African comic strip, Madam Eve, and well known political cartoonist, Zapiro, repeatedly lampooned the matter. HIV educators emphasized that this would do nothing to prevent HIV transmission. On 8 May 2006, the court acquitted Zuma of rape, but also censured Zuma for having unprotected sex with an HIV positive woman who was not his partner. As his rape trial ended, Many South Africans wondered how their political system would recover from the rifts that Zuma's trials have exposed. On 14 June 2005, President Thabo Mbeki removed Zuma from his post as deputy president due to allegations of corruption and fraud related to the five billion weapons acquisition deal by the South African government in 1999. Zuma's successor as deputy president of South Africa was Fumzil Malambo Ngisiyuka, the wife of Bulalani Ngisiyuka. Malambo Ngisiyuka had been Minister of Minerals and Energy since 1999. While her appointment was widely welcomed by the business community, she was booed publicly at many ANC rallies by Zuma supporters between the time corruption charges had been filed but before rape charges were made, with the first booing taking place in Utrecht. In September 2008, the breakdown in the relationship between the ruling ANC and its presidential appointee, Thabo Mbeki, reached a tipping point. With the ANC NEC's decision to recall Mbeki. Mbeki elected not to challenge this decision and resigned as president of South Africa. The ANC announced that the party's deputy president, Kegelima Motlante, would become president until 2009 general elections, after which it was intended that Zuma would become president. Zuma declared that he would prefer to only serve one term as president. The ANC won the national election on 6 May 2009 and Zuma was sworn in as President of South Africa on 9 May 2009. Zuma was sentenced to 15 months in jail on 29 June 2021 for contempt of court, after he refused to appear at a government appointed commission investigating alleged corruption during his nine years in office. He was given until the end of 4 July to hand himself in, after which the South African Police Service would be obliged to arrest him. However, on 3 July, the court agreed on to hear his application on 12 July. If Zuma refused to surrender by 4 July, 
The police were given till the 7th of July to arrest him. Supporters had gathered near his home with weapons to stop his arrest, but he handed himself over to the police on the 7th of July and was jailed at the Estcourt Correctional Center. Zuma challenged his detention on the 9th of July in the Peter Maritzburg High Court on grounds of health, but it was rejected. His arrest led to violent protests by his supporters, who dubbed their campaign as Free Jacob Zuma and shut down KZN in the KwaZulu Natal Province. The protests later spread to Gauteng Province. Jacob Zuma is a polygamist who has been married six times. In 2012, the Daily Telegraph estimated Zuma to have 20 children, whereas The Guardian in 2014 stated he had 21. Helen Zill of the Democratic Alliance said Zuma contradicted his public message of safe sex to South Africans. Who have a high incidence of AIDS and HIV infection? She said it was wrong to say it was purely a private matter, and elected public officials had to embody the principles and values for which they stand. The African Christian Democratic Party said Zuma was undermining the government's drive to persuade people to practice safe sex to combat HIV and AIDS. The Congress of the People (COPE) said Zuma could no longer use African cultural practices to justify his promiscuity. Independent Democrats leader Patricia De Lille said Zuma was asking people to do as I say and not as I do. Jacob Zuma Foundation. Zuma started the Jacob Zuma Foundation to send children to school and build houses for people living in poverty. The former chairperson of the foundation is Dudu Mayeni, who was also the chairperson of South African Airways. She resigned her memberships of the boards of directors of these and other bodies because she was declared a delinquent director for life in May 2020 by the Pretoria High Court. Awards: Nelson Mandela Award for Outstanding Leadership from the Medical University of South Africa, awarded in Washington D.C., 1998. During a visit to the United Kingdom in 2010, Jacob Zuma was made an honorary Knight Grand Cross of the Order of the Bath. IMO Merit Award, the highest award in the IMO state of Nigeria. Conferred on those who have made a difference in the development of their communities, the 15th of October 2017, statues, statue of Jacob Zuma in Awari, Imo State, Nigeria, Nigeria's Imo State unveiled a statue of Jacob Zuma on the 15th of October 2017. Honorary degrees: University of Zululand, 2001, Honorary Doctor of Administration; University of Fort Hare, 2001, Honorary Doctor of Literature, Letters. Medical University of Southern Africa, 2001, Honorary Doctor of Philosophy. University of Zambia, UNZA, Great East Campus, 2009, Honorary Doctor of Law. Peking University, 2012, Honorary Professor of International Relations. Other honors: Mr. Zuma was also invested with a chieftaincy title, that of the Ochiaga of Imo, during his trip to the Kingdom of Ise Samuel Ohiri of Imo on the 15th of October 2017. Filmography. The Passion of Jacob Zuma, 2009 French documentary by Jean-Baptiste Dusseau and Mathieu Niango. Motherland, 2010 documentary directed by Owen Alex Shahada. Biography taken from Wikipedia. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.